Tones Music. This is Seth's Tone Zone, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Mesa Boogie amp that came out, give or take, three to six months ago. But it takes a while for these things to trickle in sometimes from the companies. Um, this is the Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50. It is a 50 watt uh, all tube. Beautiful, very reminiscent of early Mesa Boogie amps. I always liked this logo, the Boogie Lake uh, logo, a little bit better than the newer one. Not Nothing against the newer one, but uh, <laughs> it is very reminiscent of those early, uh, I, I guess I could say Fender clones. That's kind of what you know Mesa Boogie was doing back in the day. He was taking old Fender amps and kind of hot rodding them. But it's a mixture of old and new school on some of the drive channel. It's very cool. It's basic. It's a very basic amp for Mesa Boogie. Usually, you know, Mesa Boogie has like a million switches and options, which is cool if you're a, you know, tweaker. <laughs> I mean, to say those words, you know, knob tweaker there. Uh, like the Mark V. God, that thing's, it's awesome, but it's crazy. The amount of stuff we got one over there. <laughs> um, basically, it's two channels exactly the same. So two cloned channels. And they do the same exact thing too. And what I mean is there's three modes per channel. Uh, it's all foot switchable, of course. Right For today, though, I'm just doing it on the front panel, which has, uh, you could switch from channel one to channel two. Uh, has a 50 watt down to 25 watt mode on it. One little input, input for the foot switch right there. So it's exactly the same. It says clean, drive, and high. So clean drive high, clean channel, of course, the drive is for more of your rhythm tones, uh, lighter gain. It can get pretty heavy gain on the gain knob. And of course, your higher gain is a little bit more for your lead tones, but I like to use higher gain like that for rhythm as well. So it's very versatile. Each channel has a gain, treble, mid, bass, overall presence, spring reverb in each channel controllable. So the amount of reverb you want and the master volumes in both. Uh, since it's the exact clone of each other, I'm just going to kind of focus. I'm just going to kind of use the dials on this side because I can get the same exact sounds on this side. It sounds exactly the same. Um, today I'm going through a Sir Pete Thorne signature closed back cab, which has two Celestian cream backs in it. Being mic'd by an SM57 playing a nice Sir Antique custom classic. Roasted Maple Neck, I've played this on other demos before, but I wanted to be able to get some of your single coil, coil tones on the neck and get some humbucker going in the bridge. So that's why I picked this guitar today. Not much else to do left to do, but to, uh, play and show you how it works. So here is my overall clean tone. I shouldn't say clean tone, I'm so used to doing pedals. <laughs> here's my clean tone and here's the pedal that I'm actually showing you, uh, channel one on the clean setting. I have um, my treble bass mid, everything is pretty much neutral. Presence a little bit below halfway. I'm gonna turn the reverb down first to show you the difference. No reverb. So it's very spanky. To me it sounds very fendery, which I like. I mean, I can EQ this thing, set it up, you know, turn your trebles and your mids down, more bass. And it, very uh, nice controls there, very nice uh, EQ. I can make it super spanky clean by bringing the master up and the gain down. Well, actually, that's a little too much. I like the gain about halfway, it's still, it's not driving or anything. Here's the Kind of bring back some of those highs. I like that a little bit better. By the way, I have it on 
150 watt full power mode. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of uh, those switches and the lower 25. I just feel like you don't get that full headroom response that I like, especially in a clean. See if I can overdrive that clean a little bit, make it break up to see how it does. A little bit. Probably overloaded my mic, but it's all right. So it gives you a little bit, but not really. It's more of a clean channel for that reason. If I go to bridge, you probably. So very, very nice, clean. Uh, I'm gonna set it back a little bit normal and show you the reverb here. It's got very awesome spring reverb built in. It's a lot of reverb. I don't know who would want it this high unless they're playing. Super nice. I like my reverb just on, but not killing me because I like to add reverb on my board for when I want to get ambient. Okay, I'm gonna move on to get a little bit of drive, keep it on the bridge pickup now. So, like I said, you can have different setups on each of these, and since they're exactly the same, you can have two clean tones, you can have a clean and a drive, a clean and a high drive, a high drive and a drive, you know, every combination is possible. So it's pretty cool. Um, just depends how you're using this amp, what kind of band you're in, what kind of music you're playing. You know, uh, when I play it on drive channels, I, I kind of feel like I'm a big Neil Young fan and he's known for just driving his old like tweed deluxes and stuff. He had some, this is a really cool device. I'm got him. I don't want to bore everybody, but, uh, <laughs> it was called the wizard. It was this manual, like robotic arm that would turn up his drives or like his gain and then, and put down his regular drive robotically because he loved the sound of his amp and he didn't want to channel switch. Wow. Yeah, he, or he would hit a thing, but it would just go whoop. <laughs> and that's all he's doing. I mean, he had like an effects, uh, custom built effects box for like fuzz and stuff, but most of the time he just, you know, he would overdrive his Fender and it would just get a really cool sound. I believe it's those early, not basement, but they look like basements, but I think it's the Tweed Deluxes. Um, <clears throat> and this kind of does that to me. It, it has tons more gain than Neil Young would ever use, but it's pretty cool. It gives, it's not like super, you know, Maces are known for their super tight metal overdrives. And uh, it's nice to see them kind of go back to some more versatility. Although some of their older amps had it, like the Mark IVs, Mark Fives. Still, you know, they're known for that metal rock, high rock, high gain rock kind of sound. So I will show you what I mean now. Still stays green here. I just switched it on the dri into drive. So I will give, I'll start it on halfway on the gain and see what it does. It gives you that nice. But turn that gain up even better.
fill for the day. I'm probably going to be using that as an example because it just... Yeah, um, this guitar is a little trebly, but I can always EQ that out. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> gain at that mode. That's great for like a classic rock, it's just like perfect classic rock tone. Um, 70s, you know. I'm sure it's more gain than was originally available on those boogies ever had. That's the modern versatility of it. Uh, let's put it... Well, I'm put a little lead in there. Cool. And with that reverb, it's nice. Brings it through. I feel like I have a little too much. I'll put it down a little bit. Okay, so that's what the drive channel does. Pretty self-explanatory on this amp. Here now is the higher gain, so I'm probably going to have to turn it down. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it to halfway again. Maybe a little bit more mid trouble this time. You can hear the difference. Kind of kicks it into high gear. For joining me this week that's pretty much that's the amp um if you want simple but effective come down check it out see if you like it <laughs> Woo! bless you all right so that's all right he was so quiet he's been holding that in the whole time he wants me that's that means he wants me to finish uh <laughs> anyway uh it's awesome it's not too heavy which i really like it's priced better than a lot of mesas are which is nice let me make sure Got my price right here, which is nice and handy. If I could flip this. Yeah, 1500 bucks. For Mesa, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> um, for what you get, it's awesome. I like it a lot. Thanks for joining me this week. I'll be back next week, probably with some more pedals. Or a guitar or something. I wanted to switch it up and get some differences in here. It's uh, good to show off our other products. So, thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys next week. Wow.